Filming of the Batman is described as grueling. Disney Plus beats HBO Max for downloads and we're actually getting a fifth lethal weapon? Damon, this direction. The best game news. Hello, hello, I'm Chris Killian, and this is the episode we say goodbye to 2020. Good <laughs> bye. According to The Sun, the filming process for The Batman has been called, quote, grueling for star Robert Pattinson as a result of director Matt Reeves' perfectionism. The report says that Pattinson is doing upwards of 50 takes for some scenes, and due to the bulky and hot Batman suit, it's leaving him exhausted. Why are you so sweaty? I'm not saying that being Batman isn't exhausting, but if I were Robert and saw how damn good that trailer was, I'd do as many takes as Matt Reeves freaking wants. Tell me what you want me to do. Obviously, with this being the first solo Batman film in 10 years, the pressure is on to get it just right, and executives reportedly don't want to see Pattinson burn out before the first film is even released. Everything has to be perfect. <laughs> While Wonder Woman 84 won the box office, according to Bloomberg, HBO Max had an estimated 554,000 new users sign up for the app over the Christmas weekend, while Disney Plus saw approximately 2.3 million global installations. Since HBO Max isn't yet available outside of the US, sounds to me like that's just about right. Medals, ribbons, everyone's a winner. Apparently Logan Paul has recently been hit with a lawsuit and it's about time something hit Logan Paul. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Nothing. In a recent interview, 89 year old filmmaker Richard Donner has confirmed he's set to direct the fifth and final installment of Lethal Weapon, proving he's still not too old for this I'm not too old for this, you will not. We're not too old for this the fifth film will be the first new installment of a Lethal Weapon movie since 1998. While both Mel Gibson and Danny Glover are both set to return, there's no word on what other castmates might be back yet. Not like you need anyone other than Riggs or Murtaugh for a Lethal Weapon movie anyway, come on. No, I'm Chaos and he's Mayhem. If you're a wrestling fan, tonight AEW has transformed Dynamite into a Brody Lee tribute show to celebrate his life. Additionally, they even signed Brody's son, Brody Jr., who's only eight years old, to an authentic contract so he can join the company when he is of age. While all of this has been terrible news, it's nice to see the company taking such good care of his family. Finally, yes, I am aware that there have been leaks of various Lego sets and toys featuring the Eternals costume designs, but I can't share those pictures on here, so if you want to check them out, they are but a Google search away. It's not illegal, is it? And that's it. That's the final show of the year. I'll be back here in 2021, but until then, you can find me on Instagram at CK Comedy. You guys stay safe down there, wash your hands, and thanks for coming to comicbook.com for the best geek news. Hello, hello. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn them notifications on because we're bringing you the best geek news Monday through Friday at 11.30 Eastern Time. If you didn't like the video, why are you still watching this? I would have stopped watching forever ago. Go on, get out of here. Go find something you like.